Hey everyone, Ro here. Today we're reviewing the Disney Plus series Only Murders in the Building, starring the comedy legends Steve Martin and Martin Short, with Selena Gomez making a series acting debut. Now, as always when doing reviews, we'll stay spoiler-free unless stated. Now, the premise of this series is three unlikely residents of a New York apartment building find themselves drawn together through their mutual love of murder mysteries. And in this case, they're trying to solve an actual murder within their own building. Now, straight away, there's just something comfortable about having Steve Martin and Martin Short on screen together. Maybe it's because I'm an 80s baby and so biased at having grown up with their movies, such as The Free Amigos, Father of the Bride, Captain Ron, but they undeniably just have a presence on screen, and their chemistry together is simply undeniable. It's the interplay between these two characters which is by far the highlight of each episode each week. While it may not be the comedy that will have you constantly laughing, it will have you though smiling throughout, and maybe a chuckle or two here and there. And this format works, because the story and plot remains the focus. When it all boils down to it, you are here for the story and characters, and not the laughs. And it's these characters themselves that each have a hidden depth or mystery hidden from their companions, further adding to the element of intrigue, subtly unwinding as each episode progresses. Now, the slightly odd one out in completing this trio is Selena Gomez, and in all honesty, her acting does feel very wooden compared to the likes of Steve Martin and Martin Short. But in being fair to the girl, as far as I'm aware, this is her first big on-screen role. So lining up next to two Hollywood legends was always going to be a hard ask. She certainly doesn't feel anywhere as natural on screen. However, she's not terrible by any stretch of the imagination. And her character does bring a unique counterpart to the others you'll find yourself getting more accustomed to the interplay as each episode progresses. Maybe the standout star of the series to me has to be Martin Short. For all his reputation as a comedy actor, he really has a fantastic ability to draw you into his characters in emotional moments. His expressions and mannerisms are truly second to none, especially in those somewhat sincere scenes you will undoubtedly have empathy for him along the way. Very much like Robin Williams in that sense, typecast in comedy but a marvellous actor underneath, who can draw you into him without even needing to speak a line. Don't get me wrong here, his character is by far the most flamboyant. Just don't let it drag you away from that inner depth. Now, it is undoubtedly an adult audience, and there's plenty of swearing to confirm it, particularly from Selena Gomez's younger character. Now, why they went this route, I'm not entirely sure, as it really didn't need it, and it most certainly doesn't enhance it. I guess maybe just to stand it apart from being your simple diagnosis murder. There's also a couple of moments of rather strange CGI early on in the series that really didn't make sense, and felt a bit bizarre in being there. However, those minor critics aside, honestly, I thoroughly enjoyed this series throughout, and I actually found myself looking forward to each episode coming every week. And with the series completed, now you have the luxury of being able to binge it all in one watch. If you're not a fan of Steve Martin or Martin Short, or even perhaps have no idea who they are, then maybe you won't feel the same way as me. However, if you are a fan of theirs, even if it's mostly from your childhood like me, I think you'll find this a strangely comforting watch. And I can honestly say I think you will most definitely enjoy it. At the end of the day, it's an easy-watching, simple murder mystery, with a few unique charms and twists of its own along the way. 
and ones that will definitely keep you guessing right up to the very end. So overall, I for one definitely give Murders in the Building a thumbs up. And I am very much hoping to see a series 2 sometime next year. But as always guys, have you seen it yet? And if so, what did you think? Or maybe, are you going to check this one out? Drop your thoughts in the comments below as always, and a huge thank you to all my subscribers for your support. But with that said, I am off, and I'll see you all again real soon.